Letitia, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Today, we'll be talking about a very sensitive topic, and we'll be talking about the thin line between a nine to five and a side hustle. Hmm. I know a lot of you are wondering like, why this topic, why this topic. Well, it's something that a lot of people have been thinking about. Yes, you. You have been thinking about it. So why not bring it to the table and let's discuss. Uh, a lot of people believe that a lot of people believe that when you have a nine to five it's always best it's the best options you have is to have a side hustle because they feel like what they get from your nine to five is not enough to pay the bills but note that in this country like there are three levels of people like we have the three classes rather we have the high class we have the middle class and then the basic like regular and 80 percent of us here in nigeria fall under the regular class trust me and if for example you're earning for example you you earn your basic salary is over a hundred thousand naira you would obviously have to leave in that same line like the problem we have in this country is a lot of people tend to a lot of people tend to live above what they earn so that is where the problem comes in but let's not debate from topic we're talking about my opinion on this topic is that you I don't believe that you have a 95 and then you should have sad hustle alongside your 95 I feel like it's going to be a distraction to your 95 you can't serve two masters trust me because there'll be times where your attention will be needed at your side hustle and then you would be slacking at your nine to five so why don't you put in your whole efforts like putting your all at your night in your nine to five and see what you want and see the kind of products like results you would yield because if you have a side hustle alongside your 95 it has to be something passive like for example an investment that you know that okay yes if i put so so amount of money in this it's going to bring so so amount of money it's not something like okay um i have a 95 i want to start i want to start i want to open an event center you can't you can't do those two things at the same time you have to quit one it's either you quit your nine to five or you forget the whole idea of opening an event center because your event center will then crash because it's something that will need your attention two four seven for you to be able to run but this at the same time there are lots of people that survive with their nine to five like Lot, there are a lot of people in Nigeria that are able to cope with their 9 to 5. They don't have any side hustles at all. But they are able to survive with their 9 to 5. But the problem a lot of young people have in Nigeria is the whole 
perspective of making it rather than working for it. Everybody just wants to. Everybody just wants to be good. Everybody just wants to get the bag, get the money, get the bag, get money without working for it. Things do not work that way. So my advice generally, okay, my takeouts would be if you have a 9 to 5, it's better to put your all in your 9 to 5. And then you can have something, can have passive, have something passive on the side, like an investment that you know, yes, I'm going to get this once I do this. Because trust me, the moment you say you want to open a business, you want to open an event center, you want to open a catering school, you want to start doing makeup, you want to, you want to do a lot of things at the same time, it's not going to work. You are, you won't be able to cope with the pressure and everything that is going to come with this. You will be so stressed. Trust me, you would be so stressed that you might end up losing one, you might end up giving up one, you might end up losing boats sometimes you might end up losing boats sometimes and a lot of people are actually scared that oh if i should leave my nine to five um because i want to start this business if i should leave my nine to five will i be able to survive will i be able to go through this will i be of course you can if you set your mind to do something there's no way you won't be able to do it. You just have to believe in yourself and convince yourself that, yes, I can do it. I can do this. Yes, I can do it. Once I set my mind to it, once I make it my number one priority, I'm going to get it. With hard work, with education, trust me, you'll definitely get it. But, at the end of the day you just have to make a choice and this choice can only be made by you yes just you nobody else can make this decision for you other than yourself thank you for watching this video i hope you've learned something today and see you next time don't forget to subscribe like share your thoughts on the video in the comment section see you next time bye